Hi folks, I'm going to show you how to download an image uh, that is high contrast, which is appropriate for our assignment. And high contrast means again that it's got some very defined shadows and some very defined highlights. Um, it's not all sort of one tone or just a few tones that are close together. It's kind of dramatic lighting. And then once we do that, to use a tool, an online free tool um, that posterizes or uh, actually creates fewer changes between black and white, which creates an even higher contrast, uh, more graphically interesting image. Now we're gonna do this so that we can take it into Gravit Designer and make some other changes, but that's another video. So really what we're gonna do today is how to search for an image that's high contrast and of good quality, how to download it, um, in this case to a Windows computer, but it's very similar on a Chromebook, and then how to posterize that image using a free online tool. So here we go. So the first thing I'm gonna do is open a tab and do a Google search. Um, my Google search is gonna be on Albert Einstein. And I'll do high contrast. Um, and then I'm gonna to go to images and I'm gonna click on images. And there you can see that there are lots of images of Albert Einstein, the famous scientist. But I wanna make a change here. Where it says tools, I'm gonna to click on tools and I'm gonna change the size to large, okay? Because we need a good quality large image in order to do our job here. And then I'm gonna, I like this one. This is appropriate for what I wanna do. So I'm gonna click on it one time and that's gonna open this uh, larger um, thumbnail image. And I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna do save image as, and in the case of uh, what I'm working on here, I'm gonna go to my desktop and I'm just gonna call it Einstein. And it's a JPEG image, as you can see, um, right here. So I'm gonna save that, and now it's on my desktop. Now, when you download it onto your Chromebook, you're gonna find it in your Chromebook downloads, which is, if you go down to that little circle in the bottom left and click on it, the launcher tab opens up, and you wanna look under files, which is a little uh, a blue icon with a white folder. Um, and then you pop that open, and in the upper left-hand part of the window that opens, you'll find your downloads and that's where it'll be. So anyway, I've downloaded this picture now. So I'm gonna close this window and I'm gonna open a new window. And that window, uh, you'll see that I've bookmarked something here called Posterize. Now I will post the actual URL of this website on the Google Classroom, but I've bookmarked it because I knew I was gonna have to go to it here. So I click on it and it opens this posterize.imageonline.co, and it's a free tool. Now, one of the things about a lot of these free tools before we go any further is they will often ask you, um, and sometimes in tricky language that you'll think you're doing one thing and you're really doing something else, they will ask you to install some program that they sell or that sponsors them or whatever. And so you want to be careful about how you do that here. So this, I picked this site because it's pretty straightforward and it doesn't really do too much of that. So I'm going to click here where it says select image and I'm going to click Einstein and I'm going to open it. And there it is, right? Now down here at the bottom, it has number of levels and that's it. it by the way, it may not be showing you a preview. So I would change that to about three or four. And in this case, I'm gonna go with three. And then I click posterize, and that's what it looks like. And that actually is really kind of what I'm going for. But let's say that it wasn't. I could actually do, I could go up here and do four posterize. And that gives me a little more, but I actually kind of like three. So I'm gonna go back to three, click posterize, and there you can see that it's a nice, a really high contrast, graphically strong image. So I have two options here. I can download it as a PNG file or download it as a JPEG file. Um, I'm gonna download it as a PNG. And the reason for that is PNGs scale better, which means I can make it larger, easier if I want to. Um, and uh, any image will make smaller better, but larger is hard and PNGs do, uh, you can make PNGs larger with and still maintain quality more easily than you can do that with a JPEG. So I'm gonna go ahead and download it. And it is telling me, if I show in folder, that it is in my local disk. So I'm gonna put it on my desktop. 
and close that window. And I'll go to my desktop here. And let's see what it looks like. And there it is. So I now have a copy of it. Now we're gonna take this image and open it in Gravit Designer. I should say not open it in Gravit Designer. We're gonna import it into Gravit Designer and then we're gonna go do something else. But I'll show you that in another video. So anyway, thank you for watching.